Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In this video I will uh, show the brushes I'm using. So let's just start with that. So um, when I sketch a character, I use a sketch brush. So I make a new layer. So I'm working in Adobe Photoshop. And the first thing I really want to say is that people overestimate a bit about the brushes. I get a lot of questions about what brush should I get and, um, and et cetera. And a brush won't make that big of an, uh, a difference to your drawing. Of course it can help, but it doesn't make your drawings suddenly that much better. But it's just a tool that you can use. So here, this is the brush I use for uh, sketching characters. Uh, for example, uh, here you can see it, that this sketch with the fish I made with this, uh, this brush. And it's just, it's a uh, brush that is pressure sensitive. So when I'm uh, really pressing lightly on it, you see these light lines. And when I press harder, you see these darker lines. So, and, oh, that is going my uh, Siri. Annoying. And um, if I put off the, uh, put on the settings, so go to uh, brush settings, that is uh, window brush settings, you see your settings for the brush. And as you can see, I turned on uh, shape dynamics. And uh, everything is just on zero, and only this control is on uh, on pen pressure. And what does that mean if you put it off? It's just a uh, straight line. If I put it on, on pen pressure, and it means, in this case, for the, the vacuum I'm using, it's uh, yeah pressure sensitive. So you get this thin to thick to thin to thick lines. If you put it off, you only get this thick line. So you can also see that my brush is sometimes a bit transparent. And that's because of the transfer. So it's now light gray and then it's black. So if I put it here, here you can see it's transparent. When I press harder, it's not transparent. Um, so also with pen pressure, pen pressure on, you can also um, make the minimum. So this is the minimum, but you can also make this the, and the minimum. So that's here. And here you always see a uh, preview of it. So put that on. And I also play around with these settings. So this is the type of brush uh, you're using. This is just a simple ball, a ball shape. And uh, this is then the size, this is the angle. So sometimes I want kind of a marker brush, and then I'm using this, so let's make this brush bigger. So then you can see the difference. If I put this around, it's like this. Uh, let's put that. And if I grid it really tightly, so that's cool if you want to make something with uh, letters or something. You can put it big. Um, so sometimes I just take my sketch brush and tweak a bit on those uh, those settings. And I would just advise you to play around a bit with that and um, see what works best for you. And let me see. I have here a paint texture brush. So it's just this. And I don't really use this that much. And uh, I will show in a bit what kind of brush I'm using then. But you can actually make this brush uh, yourself. So if you make a new, um, a new uh, file, just make it uh, 500 with 500, so like this. And let's create and uh, let's make our own brush. So with a black on a white, you make some own brush texture. So you can use the texture from a photo or something or, or anything. I'm just doing this for the sake of, uh, yeah, of showing it you guys. And going to, um, I think it was define pattern and call it YouTube brush. 
press enter and now i've made this uh, this new brush needs to be somewhere where is it where is it just here i actually don't know sure where it is now last time it appeared to appear Okay. Uh, is this it? No, it's not it. Why isn't it showing? Uh, maybe if it's doing define brush preset. Yeah, that works. This makes it easier. Um, but because I think it's somewhere here, uh, make it YouTube brush. And now we have made this brush. You can see it here, YouTube brush. And then if we go back to that uh, other file. So now we can use that new brush with that texture. So you can make your own uh, texture brush and then you can change the settings like shape dynamic or uh, dual brush uh, and uh, so I will just recommend playing around with those settings. But what I just showed, you can make your own, um, own brush. Um, but I don't use that brush that much. Uh, I've made, for example, also a hairbrush, but I, I personally like to draw in all the hairs uh, myself. But you can use this for uh, painting in hair. So like this, and then using different colors. So you can absolutely use that. And I also made that with the trick I, uh, I just showed, that you just make a couple of dots next to each other and you save that as a brush, and then you can make this kind of brush. Uh, also have a figure drawing brush. So I, I, yeah, that is what I earlier showed with this uh, marker effect, just makes it a bit more fancier. Sketch brush I already showed, ink brush, that's just basically your brush with only shape dynamics and uh, smoothing. And smoothing, you can set that here, you can turn it up. Just if you put the smoothing really high, you have these really perfect lines. And if you put it low, you get it more. Um, yeah, the lines will get be will uh, be a bit more jittery. And for example, if I show you that here. You can see those corners, right? If I put up the smoothing, it makes it really smooth. That's why it's called smoothing. Uh, eraser, also made those brushes. So just a hard eraser, soft eraser, a uh, paintbrush. And that's think, interesting to show. So I'm using this to, uh, to paint most of my uh, drawings. So it's just a an, uh, brush with uh, transfer. And the brush tip shape, the hardness, is on zero. So this brush is uh, soft, you can see it. And I use that to paint this character. Here you can see it, and then I just paint the character like that. And then try to, et cetera. So this is how I make soft shadows. Also I have a pencil uh, brush. And then if I make it really small, but I really don't like to, personally don't like to use it that much. Uh, I just like to have a normal sketching, uh, sketch brush like this, nothing fancy. And you won't get the nice lines you have in your sketchbook. But uh, me personally, I'm not really worrying about that. Um, and maybe also one interesting brush I used is the perspective brush. So that's this. So this is just a tool I'm using to draw perspective. So I'm putting this here, and then I can start drawing in an, uh, an house. So let's make, oh, let's make this brush smaller. Let's make it a different color, red. And, oh, and let's draw in a house. And I'm using that uh, perspective from the from the brush. Oh, 
are not even following the guides. But you can use that to uh, follow the perspective guides. You, you can check out my perspective tutorials to find more about this. And I make that the same way as I did uh, with that uh, uh, texture brush. So what I basically do is I use this line and then I uh, make that uh, cross I just showed. And then you have something like this. And then, uh, that. oh, there's one thing. So if you have a, uh, you have made something like brush settings you use, uh, like scattering, texture, dual brush, and you have the shape dynamics, so you basically made your own brush settings, you can go to this here and you can say new brush presets, and then you say new brush, uh, blah, 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 press enter, and then you have your new brush here, and you can also delete it, or you can put it in a different folder and make your own folder. So I have, I have my Mitch Brushes uh, folder here. So I hope you liked it. If you want to find out more about these tutorials, you can go to gumroad.com slash Mitch And there I have all these different uh, eBooks. Also an eBook, How to Paint. And in this eBook is also uh, the brushes I just showed are included in it. And uh, there's an ebook of more than 100 pages about how to paint digitally. And there's also two PSD files in it. So you can see how I build up my uh, files. So I hope you liked it. And leave a comment in the, in the comments. To tell me if you have any questions or just want to say something. And I hope you like this. So please like this video and leave uh, or maybe sign up. So I hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye, everyone.